The movie opens with a brief voiceover from Nick, as his wife Amy is lying while he strokes her hair, whilst he is wondering what she is thinking. The scene cuts to the morning of July 5th. We quickly learn that the very same day, it's Nick and Amy's fifth anniversary. Moments later, we see Nick go into a bar where he meets his sister, Margot. Margot quickly notices that something is wrong with him, to which he simply replies, Amy. To which we get a flashback scene of the night when Nick and Amy first met, and instantly fell for one another. His time with his sister is cut short, as he receives a phone call and goes home, only to notice that his wife is missing. He quickly calls the police, and the investigation begins. Nick follows the detectives into the police station for further questioning. Upon asking Nick questions, we see that Nick doesn't know much about his wife or his routines. That night, he spends the night with Margo, but over at Nick and Amy's house, the detectives show up once again, and upon inspecting the house once more, they find a suspicious envelope marked Clue 1. The next day, Nick and Amy's parents hold a press conference asking the public for their help in finding Amy. Moments later, the detective reveals the envelope they found to Nick, and once he solves it, it leads them to his office. Inside his office, they found the second clue, which mentioned a brown house. Nick rushes to his father's house, and inside he finds another envelope, or the third clue, but he hides it from the police. We get a flashback in which we further learn that Nick and Amy's marriage has been falling apart for some time, mostly after Nick lost his job. Later on, an event is held for Amy, and there we see Desi, one of Amy's ex-boyfriends. Nick quickly becomes suspicious of him and asks the detectives to keep an eye on him. Throughout the next couple of scenes, we see multiple people worrying about the way Nick is presenting himself, as if he doesn't care that his wife is missing. That night at Margot's, Nick's ex-girlfriend Andy stops by and starts kissing Nick. We learn that Nick was having an affair with her, and she asks him not to tell anyone about it. We get yet another flashback in which we see that Nick's mother has passed away. To cheer him up, Amy buys him a bar, but he doesn't seem happy with it. It was shown that their marriage was slowly failing, and they grew further away from each other. Throughout the film, we see Amy writing everything in her diary, and one of the things she wrote is that she purchased a gun. She further wrote that Nick wants to get rid of her, but he can't, as she is the one that owns everything. The next morning, we see Nick walk Andy out of the apartment, but Margot sees her and confronts Nick about it, telling him he will be in a lot of trouble if anyone finds out. Moments later, Margot turns on the news, where the main topic is Nick and how he doesn't appear to be in any distress. The presenter talks to lawyer Tanner Bolt, who said that even though he may be smiling, Nick could still be grieving. Margot then advises Nick to hire Bolt as his lawyer. At the police station, the detectives also watch the news report on Nick, and after discussing it, one of the detectives suggests that he thinks Nick is guilty. Their conversation is cut short, as they receive evidence that a lot of blood has been wiped from Nick and Amy's kitchen. That night, there is a Virgil for Amy, and Nick gets up to explain that he isn't the one behind her disappearance, and that he cares about her deeply. As he is in the middle of a speech, Noel confronts him, revealing a shocking secret that Amy is six months pregnant, which leaves everyone stunned. Nick leaves, and later that evening, the detective visits him and asks him about the pregnancy. Nick denies knowing about that. She confronts him about the pool of blood that has been wiped off the kitchen floor. Moments later, the detective receives a phone call confirming Amy's pregnancy. As Nick becomes the number one suspect, he gets angry and refuses to talk further without a lawyer. The detectives are determined to find more evidence to tie Nick to his wife's disappearance, so they once again inspect Nick's father's house. There, they find Amy's journal, which has been partially burned. Inside the journal, Amy has explained in detail each moment she felt afraid for her life and that Nick could hurt her. Back at the house, Nick manages to solve the third clue and heads to the woodshed where he finds all of the items that have been charged to his credit card. In a shocking twist, the movie cuts back to July 5th as we see Amy driving a car. Her voiceover goes in the background telling us how she had planned the entire thing to frame her husband because he took everything from her and he even cheated on her. We learn that Amy meticulously planned each step of her revenge for years. She has planned each piece of evidence in detail, from meeting Noel to her pregnancy, and even the blood found on the kitchen floor. Back at the house, Nick shows his sister the woodshed and suggests that Amy is behind it. They take the gift box inside and find two puppets inside, and a note which they quickly decoded. They realize that she wanted Nick to be killed for her supposed murder, knowing that Missouri had a death penalty. Cut to Amy, 
We see that after leaving, she changes her hair and rents a room at a hotel. Nick ends up hiring Tanner as his lawyer, and Tanner further explains all the evidence against him, suggesting that Nick needs someone that will support his theories. Nick mentioned the ex-boyfriends, Tommy and Desi, and he goes on to meet with them. Tommy reveals that Amy has filed charges of assault against him, even though he never assaulted her. He then meets with Desi, but Desi refuses to speak to Nick. Later that day, Nick sees the news which further pushes him to the edge, claiming that he and his sister are weirdly close and are suspects. In the hotel, Amy is watching the same thing, pleased by it. She then calls the police anonymously and warns them about the woodshed. The next day, Tanner visits Nick and Margot and they explain all the clues Amy left. Tanner further suggests that Andy may expose Nick, but Nick doesn't believe she would do that. At the hotel, Greta, a woman Amy had previously met, and her boyfriend, rob Amy of all her money. To save his image, Nick appears on a TV show where he tells his side of the story. After Amy is robbed, she is left with no money and no place to go, so she ends up calling Desi to ask for help. In the middle of their conversation, they see Andy on the TV, where she talks about her relationship with Nick. Desi agrees to help Amy and takes her to his lake house. As soon as Desi leaves, Amy walks around the house and sees all the security cameras. That evening, Nick's interview airs where he says that he did not kill his wife, but it's his fault that things got worse between them. As Nick and Margot go over the interview, the detective shows up with a search warrant for the woodshed. Once the police find all the stuff, they arrest Margot. The police end up finding more evidence that points towards Nick, so they arrest him. At the lake house, Amy and Desi are having a good time. But as soon as Desi leaves, Amy ties her leg with a string and starts crying in front of the cameras, as if Desi is holding her captive. Back at the station, Tanner manages to get Nick and Margot out of prison. At the lake house, Amy sets the scene as if Desi assaulted her, and she killed him in self-defense. The next morning, Nick is woken up by a car arriving at his front door. When he opens the door, he sees Amy covered in blood as she falls into his arms. She is taken into a hospital where they confirm she has been assaulted, and when Amy is asked what happened, she tells them a fake story about how Desi kidnapped her. When Nick takes Amy home, he immediately asks for the truth, knowing she had previously lied. She agrees, but asks him to get with her in the shower to make sure he is not recording her. Nick confronts her and says he will leave her, but she says that everyone will go against him for leaving his wounded wife. At night, Nick is seen scared of Amy, fearing for his life. The next morning, Amy pretends as if nothing has happened. Nick and Amy appear in a public interview where they reveal they'll be parents. As the movie comes to an end, we see the same scene the movie opened with, where Nick and Amy are still together, and both of them still wonder what the other one is thinking about.